Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Zelda. Let's go. Alright, we now know how to enter the realm where the demon train is. So I guess since she mentions that this is a demon train, you know, that the... I, I guess that means the little ones are dark trains and not demon trains, because otherwise the names would be confusing. I mean, I guess they could have the same name, but... Well, but... Well, that, that doesn't seem logical in, in the way of we're talking about stuff, so it probably is Dark Trained. <laughs> Soon we'll have to battle Maladus himself. So, let's get going, Link. Yes, let's. What realm do you want to go, Link? Forest Realm. Because, well, you see that there's a new little series of tracks that were flip-flopping around over there, so it's time to go see what those tracks lead to. And something tells me it won't be pretty, because as you'll see when we get out of here, well, well, let's dr let's doodle ourselves around here first. And I'm gonna go around here so I can show you all the new tracks right straight there. So yeah, you'll immediately see if you look around. This was not here before. Oh 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 oh. All right, we're coming up to the new tracks, and the closer you get, the more ominous it looks. Yeah, uh, this, this is a little bit too close to our village, if I gotta say, and yeah. <laughs> also, as long as we're here, you can now see the side of the village, which we weren't able to see before, because these tracks were not active until the very, 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 very end of the game. So there they are, there's our village, side view, okay, <laughs> I'm done with that. <laughs> what our main uh, course here is this mountain over here, it's got a cave through it, and we couldn't see that from this portion of the village, it didn't really spawn or anything like that. So, you know, when there's a big mountain in the way of your vision to see something, that probably means that nothing is good behind it. <laughs> Especially this end game. Let's just put it that way. Let's go ahead and kill these bad boys off. There we go. And we are off. Holy poopers! Link, look in front! In front! Who knew this was so close to home? I know, I know! Unless you played the game before, but details, details. <laughs> Holy poop. Listen, Princess Zelda and Link. Two of you must gather your courage and proceed. Uh, uh, this is this is actually kind of spooky. No, no, I, I cannot. That's that's too spooky. Too spooky. There's no way we're going through that gate ever in the history of ever. We're going back. Link, Link, don't my body. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I I made you wait long enough. Let's go get your body back. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, you kind of had some side quests to do, and hopefully it didn't uh, didn't allow it to take root or something like that. But we'll see, we'll see. So now we're we're in the dark realm. It's kind of spooky, but holy poopers, we're going on turbo speed. It's a lot of invincibility, which means that we can use them to defeat the train. Demon trains of death. Well, armor trains of death. So yeah, let's go ahead and finally, finally destroy these stinkers. Once and for all! And also watch the, the armor trains very carefully because they can change direction pretty rapidly. Yeah, just like this one that's doing over there. So, yeah, you don't want to get trapped between a train and a hard place. Is that will not make you a happy engineer? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go this way. I mean, I'm basically just controlling the chain manually because I am trying to react to where they are going and whatnot rather than, you know, just setting a, a route by drawing it or whatnot via the route. Oh, and speaking of drawing, you can't write on this map, so, yeah. Also, um, there is a thing about the, uh, uh, the, the uh, armored trains here is that they're, they're slightly faster than you are now for some reason. I don't know if they've got, like, extra power in this area or whatnot, but... Yeah, they are actually capable of catching up to you, and they and since they pursue you, that is not the uh, the healthiest dish for your train. So, 
Now, um, when you grab a tear of light, watch how fast you can stop. Just watch this. <laughs> Not only are you going at turbo speed, you've got turbo stopping power. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, but also hilarious at the same time, and awesome at the same time, and yeah, it's just... It, it gives you a flurry of emotions, let's put it that way. <laughs> and as you can see with the design of this place, and the things randomly spawning and whatnot, you can shoot the skulls like rocks, and you can shoot the signs like regular signs, even though there's their bones with pa or painted bones on them and whatnot. Everything is just like an overworld place. Only it's just kind of like randomly spawning stuff. Well, I guess Overworld also randomly spawns like rocks and trees and stuff, so maybe it's not all that different after all. <laughs> so in reality, there's really not all that much to see here. But you may have noticed these little portal-like things along the edges here. Well, let's just put it this way, that they are sort of like the Pac-Man gates off the edge of the screen, and that would do when you go in one, you go out the opposite one. So if, you go, if I went over here, I end up all the way at the start, which is kind of useless. So I'm going in this one instead, and that'll, that'll lead me to a tier of light, which will take me to this one, which will take me to this armor train. And actually, I'm gonna slow myself down a little bit, just so I can time myself better with this one. Well, actually, no, this should be okay, actually, based on how this is gonna go. So I just wanna grab this tier. Go turbo speed! Woo! Waka 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 you SOBs! <laughs> so yeah, the, the tears of light are like the pellets, the gates are like the edges of the screen. We are pac manning it up like it was 1975 or something like that. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this gate is really all that useful to me. This, this segment over here is a really really annoying segment of trains here because you need to like there's there's no tier anywhere around here except in that middle area and the thing about it is that if you are within range of them they're gonna start pursuing you and the, the issue with that of course is that they're faster than you and they could turn around instantly so yeah um also like see it, it just did it right there so it, it, they, they kind of have a way of trapping you so I'm going to go ahead and do another turnaround loop here and see if I can figure out a better strategy for getting, in, getting into those suckers. Because, yeah, they aren't, they, aren't really, uh, they aren't really allowing me to do much of anything right now. <laughs> maybe I can use this to... No, maybe not. I think it's still too far away from this portal's line to actually get into their grill or their hockey mask, as it may be if you're going into horror movies. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not well. As long as they're on that that far side, maybe I'll be able to get that that tier over there. But I don't know. That's it's just such a dicey tier to get, and it's so hard to time to get everything in line. And see, your your tier runs out long before you get into their faces and like and stuff like that. So it's just like what what do you do here to get it all just right? I'm not all that positive about that, especially since it since they can turn around instantly. So if I were to try pursuing one, um, it would just kind of just turn around on you and then just go right in your face. <laughs> it would not be too pretty. Uh, well, maybe this will be an okay timing now. Because I Oh, yeah, I think that might work, actually. Because I think I'll be able to get to that tier in time before this one gets over here, and then I'll be able to divide and conquer a little bit. Hopefully. Uh, let's give it a shot here. Uh, oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess maybe I should have went around? Maybe? I don't know. It's just so hard to tell, because if I would have went around, it would have just went back down that route anyway. <sighs> and also what stinks is that when this happens... You not only get pooped out back over here, but the demon trains also reset their positions! Great, right? Yeah! Yeah, well, I should say the armor trains also reset their positions. It isn't just 
those two, though. Oh, no, no, no. It's all six of those suckers. Alright, round two with these guys. And this is actually still not looking like it's gonna set up. <laughs> See how they just turn around and then... Yeah, I'm not, so I'm not really sure how to pursue this. I, I always just kind of felt like I got it just out of sheer luck or something like that. Because it always seemed like that they always got got into some sort of position that they trapped me at otherwise. And it, it's just like other times, like, oh no, it, it worked out just fine. Why didn't it work out fine other times? Like this, this right here, it looks like it's going to be just fine, so... <laughs> Just watch, I'm just gonna do this, I'm gonna turn around, and one, and the two, buckle your shoe. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so dumb, sometimes all that sets up. Oh, somewhere up ahead in the dark. Where's the, where's my train tracks? You're the only one who could stop his rampage. Wait, is this Anjin talking? I don't know. You'll be an engineering legend if you pull it off. I guess it could be anyone. I could do either voice, it'll work just, just, work just fine. Holy poopers! Holy poopers. It's the big boy! The demon train itself! Oh no! So what we want to do is shoot those barrels of explosives as, yeah, <laughs> as they pop out of there. No problem whatsoever. And then brake while it is changing course, otherwise they'll take damage from a hit and whatnot. So let's get ourselves set up onto the other series of rails now. Yeah, we gotta actually get ourselves controlled with not only the rails, with the speed, with everything basically for our victory. Oh yeah, there we go. If it drops, it drops. It, oh geez, it doesn't really much matter that much because it'll just land on the track and if you're far enough away it won't hurt you or anything like that. There we go. There we go. So I recommend just kind of shooting at it from a distance and calling it a day with that train car. There we go, you hunk of metal. How you like those apples? <laughs> and thus we go through the same portal it is going through. It always goes down the same track that you do. It's kind of a, it's kind of like a cutscene of sorts. And now we got lasers. Shoot the lasers. Same idea. <laughs> Shoot them as they pop out of there, and you'll be able to stun them. And just keep keep your keep your eyes focused on that. And also be be ready to change your speed when it's gonna change its routes because it, it'll it'll bump into you then and it can it, it can also break too so uh, if it does do some braking it'll do so for a set period of time or so and then it'll continue going at regular speed where you'll be uh, um, you'll be okay about p pacing and whatnot but if it's braking and you're braking it'll still be slower I mean it'll still be yeah it'll still be slower than you based on the screen pushing you and whatnot so when that happens, you just gotta kind of try and get yourself to a whole other set of tracks, if at all possible. But sometimes it's kind of difficult to do, but it's not impossible, you know, to do this without taking a hit or anything like that. It's just about, just about watching yourself. Ow! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> As I said, just, just watch yourself. Just watch. No. Hey, 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 I was touching that. I was touching that. Don't you tell me I wasn't touching that. No. Okay, fine, whatever. You can, you can do scratch damage to my chain, it doesn't much matter. <laughs> Take that. I can always get my health back by shooting the skulls around the edges and stuff like that too, but I'm more focused on just damaging the sucker. <laughs> For this third phase, I recommend going at like regular speed rather than super turbo speed. Because we're going to shoot the gears on the sides here, and we want to be going at about a decent pace along with it. So, you know, it's, it's going like, yeah, you want to shoot the lasers again, but one at a time while you're going at about the pace, and about the pace is, well, yeah, regular speed. Now shoot the face! Shoot the face! Like you've never shot the face before, because you literally have not shot the face before. <laughs> Looks like it's changing track now, so I'm going to go ahead and let it, oh no, it's not changing track, is it? Okay, I can live with that. I can just go at this slow speed too, that'll work just fine. <laughs> Let's get up to the front here. Let it blow itself up a little bit there, it's got some combustibles in there. And shoot its face a bunch more times. Oh geez, now it's behind- oh no, 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 stop, stop. 
Stop. Ah, oh, pain. Stop. 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 Wah. Hey, you just gotta keep shooting it. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to actually avoid taking damage on that last part there, but... Well. But. Well. It worked. <laughs> I even did it without upgrading our train parts, technically, because if you were to, uh... Uh, have four health, you know, you'd have had one health remaining at that point, so it wouldn't have much mattered. And look at this save point. Look at this save point. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> so you don't have to do it all in run, one run, huh? Hmm. Hmm. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> Build some suspense. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I finish this game.